subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. The William Pace Show, asking the questions you want to ask, getting the answers everyone wants to know. It's a new season of the William Pace Show. We're raising the bar with more commitment to educate, inform, encourage, inspire, empower, and help you have your best life. Everyone deserves to have their best life. I'm just staying the course. Here we go. Hi, I'm Idotha Bootsy Neal, Dayton City Commissioner. I'm going to be watching the William Pace Show. Please join me. I'm William Pace. My guests this evening are Bob and Jane Bartouche, owner and manager of the Stockyard Inn. Remember the young dancer Ly Martin Chapman from Juilliard? Well, he's back to dance for us tonight. And it's that time of year again, the affair of the heart. And with us to tell us more is James Briggs from the Dayton Area Heart Association. By popular demand, we're starting the William Pace Show Fan Club, and you can become an annual member by paying $25. Checks and money orders should be made payable to the William Pace Show and mailed to P.O. Box 3644, Dayton, Ohio, 45401. You'll receive a button and a t-shirt and several other nice gifts from the show. Each week we start the show out by reading letters from the viewers, and I would like to encourage you to write. To write to the William Pay Show, write to P.O. Box 3644, Dayton, Ohio, 45401. If your letter is chosen to be read on the show, you'll receive a gift from the William Pay Show. The first letter is from a Mrs. Ohio from Centerville. Dear Mr. Pace, I have recently seen your show on television and enjoyed it very much. The William Pace Show is not only informative to Dayton area residents, but entertaining as well. I wish you continued success in the future. Sincerely, Sandra J. Hyde, Mrs. Ohio, USA, and National Semi-Finalist. Well, thank you very much for writing, and we're going to send you a gift certificate to Mahaffey's Pies. The next letter is from Alisa M. Olis from Dayton. Dear William, I have thoroughly enjoyed your fine show. My favorite part of the evening is your lovely rendition of classic songs. Hearing you sing has brought back some fond memories. Keep up the good work, William. It makes a difference. Sincerely yours, Lisa M. Olis. Well, thank you very much, Lisa, for writing, and we're going to send you a gift certificate to Christopher's Restaurant in Kettering. And the last letter is from a William Slogum, Fort Worth, Texas. Dear William, I happened to catch your show while in Dayton on business. I admit to being a little lonely at the time, away from my family and all. Your show brought me out of the doldrums and gave me the willingness to seek one new adventure. At the first opportunity, I found myself at Garska's Cafe, sitting in front of a mound of moussaka. I would never have had the gumption to try it before your show. Your singing brings fun memories of big bands and booming voices, entertainment that seems to be lost in today's screaming rappers. As we say here in Texas, William, you have true grit 
and a true Texan can spot it a mile away. Thanks, William Slogum. Well, thank you for writing, and we're going to send you a box of Esther Price candy. I have a message tonight from my good friend Flo Allen at Mormon Pontiac. She would like for you to know when you stop in to purchase a new car that you will receive a free car alarm system. So stop in today to purchase your new car at Mormon Pontiac. For more information, call Flo Allen at 278-9681. Tonight we have eight new advertisers. They are the Stockyards Inn, ASAP Secretarial Services, Kicks Nightclub, Kickers Records, Nicholas Guerin, Attorney at Law, Weber Automotive Service, Thrifty Drug Store, and the last one is Zach Seafood. We thank you for your support of the William Pace Show, and I would like to invite other advertisers and sponsors to come on our show. We really need your help. We simply couldn't do it without you. For all your mechanical and body work needs, be sure to go to Bill's Mechanical and Body Shop, located at 2703 Linden Avenue. For more information, call Brownie at 256-9722. Coming up next, we're going to go to the Stockyards Inn for some baby back ribs. Mmm, stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on The William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present The William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to The William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. My guest this evening is Jane Bartouche, owner of Stockyards Inn. How are you tonight? I'm just fine, William, and how are you? I'm fine. How long has the Stockyard Inn been in existence? Well, almost 100 years. It was the grand years. opening was in 1900. Mm -hmm. Now, Stockyards Inn has a, a rather interesting history background. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it originally started out as the Union Stockyards, where mm -hmm. the cattlemen would bring their cattle and their pigs and their sheep, and they would sell <laughs> their um, livestock. And at the Stockyards, we still have the original cashier's cage, where they um, paid for the cattle and bought the cattle. Mm -hmm. And it was originally a restaurant where we, they could have lunch or dinner, and it was an inn where they could stay overnight. Hmm. We have eight private dining rooms upstairs that were originally sleeping rooms for the cattlemen. Hmm. Now, we were talking a little bit earlier about um, the menu, and um, I noticed you have baby back ribs, seasoned, baked, and broiled to perfection in Chef Bob's special barbecue sauce. Now, that sounds terrific. You think I'll go back and talk to Chef Bob? He'll prepare that for me? I think he might just do that. Okay, let's go back in the kitchen. Okay. My guest is Bob Bartouche, owner and head chef of Stockyards Inn. And we're going to cook baby back ribs. Where do we start tonight? Good evening, William. How are good you? Good evening. How are you? Real good. Well, we start with a quality product. With any, is with any uh, food preparation, you have to have a quality to start with. Uh, we're cooking a baby back rib tonight, as you've already noticed or noted, they're uh, one and a half down. That means they're uh, weigh one and a half pounds or mm -hmm. less uh, and down uh, baby back rib. Now what's the difference between baby back ribs and the other types of ribs? Well there's a, a, a spare rib also. We've uh, through tasting and research decided to stay with the baby back rib. The uh, spare rib is a larger rib. It has a larger bone. Mm -hmm. uh, as you eat these you'll see these have a real I see. small delicate bone in there. I feel it's uh, uh, more meat ratio. There's more meat than the uh, 
spare rib and less fat and gristle involved. It's a pretty mm -hmm. clean piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Little trick of the trade here. Right. Uh, once With the tricks now, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a uh, point something out to you here that... Uh, Oh, I suppose it's not a well-known fact, but there's a skin on the bottom of this rib here. Mm -hmm. uh, and if we pull that off, it's going to do two things. It'll make it a more tender product to eat, and it'll allow the seasoning to penetrate the mm. product a little bit better. So you, uh, I'm just using a, a skewer that we normally use for a, a kebab. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if they make any special tools for this, but this mm -hmm. seems to work pretty well. What you need to do is locate a bone up towards the small end now of the rib. Now you want me to do this, huh? I want you to do this. <laughs> so to sort of lift that skin up and just follow the bone right up. It goes up at a little angle. I got in. I'm not well, sure if I... Yeah, you want to get on a bone. Excellent. Excellent. Voila. <laughs> and just sort of pull up and back on it. Pull up and back. And Oop. back. Oh, oh. okay. And then you just take from there and you just... Okay. You know, that's... Next step is get them on a baking sheet, put them in the oven, lay them, again, with the, uh, the back side down, front side up. This is uh, called a barbecue rub. Let me smell this here. Oh, this smells delicious. Yeah. It smells good. It well, smells that's, uh, that's the secret of the whole flavoring. Uh, the, the flavoring of rib doesn't really thing. come from uh, the sauce. Oh, this is delicious. Yeah. The ribs you'll find are just uh, real good without a barbecue sauce on mm -hmm. them. This is where the flavoring comes from. Uh, what is in here? Just this is uh, vinegar and a barb. Uh, excuse me, a smoked seasoning. It has a nice smell to it too. Yeah, yeah. it's very aromatic. The more the merrier. Don't be bashful, because this is, like I say, this is where the flavor comes from. Do you do both sides? Well, no, no. We just do the top just one side, side here. Okay. Well, that might be the first bite right there, so we better get him covered up, too. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that should do that. Uh, then you go over it again. Hit it again. Okay, we then take, this, uh, take the ribs. They're seasoned, ready to go. We put them in an oven, uh, a slow-cook oven. We cook, the, cook them for two and a half hours. Two and a half hours? Yes, sir, at 250 mm. degrees. Uh, at that point, they're done and finished and ready to go. There you go. Straighten her up. Now let's sauce this side. Ooh, doesn't that look good? It does. So how long does this stay in here? Just a couple minutes. We're just setting the saucer. Let's caramelize it a little bit. You sure you haven't done this before? No, am I doing pretty good? <laughs> <laughs> I pronounce it done. Is it done? It's done. Okay. Full slab of ribs. There we go. Let's go out in the dining room and try this out. Okay. <laughs> Your ribs, sir. Thank you. Now, Jane, what's the correct way of eating ribs? Now, I've heard about the knife and the fork, and I've heard about the fi it's like finger food, that you can use it as finger food, treat it as finger food, and but what is the correct way? I think, William, the best way is however you feel comfortable eating the ribs. The only way you can eat a rib is with your fingers, sir. Well, you have to cut it first. Yes, <laughs> so. Oh, to heck with the knife and the fork, huh? Let's get rid of the silverware. Mmm. <laughs> this is good. I want to thank you both for coming on the show tonight. And uh, so folks at home, come down to the Stockyard Inn for the best ribs in town. Coming up next, Lie Martin Chapman from Juilliard. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Krohn Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. 
Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. I'd like to remind you that my show is a paid show. What is a paid show? Well, we pay for the airtime to broadcast the William Pace Show, and we depend heavily upon the revenue from sponsors, advertisers, and financial contributions from loyal and devoted viewers like you. We really need your help. We simply couldn't do it without you. To send your financial contribution, make checks and money orders payable to The William Pace Show and mail them to P.O. Box 3644, Dayton, Ohio 45401. Your financial contribution, regardless of what size, will help keep The William Pace Show alive. Several months ago, a young dancer by the name of Lai Martin Chapman from Juilliard appeared on the show. Well, he's back tonight with us. He's going to dance again for us. Lai Martin Chapman. Thanks so much, Lai Martin Chapman, for coming back tonight. The William Pace Show welcomes Sinbad to town on February 26. Uh, he'll be in town for a benefit for the American Lung Association. For ticket information, contact Joseph Bevan at the American Lung Association, and you can reach him by calling 277-3300. It's that time of year again, the affair of the heart. And with us tonight to tell us more is James Briggs. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on The William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on The William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present The William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. It's that time of year again, the Affair of the Heart annual fundraising event. My guest is James Briggs from the Dayton Area Heart Association. Good to see you again. Well, good evening. 
Good evening to you. It's been a year, but we're back to talk again. Yeah. What's going on? Well, the annual An Affair of the Heart is coming up on February 5th. It's going to be a, just a splendid, splendid evening. Uh, I, I think we probably recall from our conversation last year, it includes hors d'oeuvres. We'll have two dozen of our area local restaurants who have agreed to come and uh, provide hors d'oeuvre type mm -hmm. food samplings from their menus. We will have live music with the Tom Doherty Orchestra this year and his singing group called the uh, Jukebox Divas. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing starts at about 5.30 at the convention center and lasts till around 11. During the night, we're going to have roving mu magicians and mimes and clowns <laughs> because uh, this, uh, the steering committee has determined, is the year of the child as far as an affair of the heart is concerned. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, we're really excited. I think it's going to be a great deal of fun. We have had celebrity roasts and other kinds of uh, things in the past that I know your viewers are familiar with. This year it's going to be just a little bit different twist, but uh, it's really going to be great, William. Uh, there are a lot of fundraising activities in the Miami Valley, as you well know. I think, and I think most of the people who attend regularly believe that an affair of the heart is uh, certainly not the most expensive and it's certainly not the most lavish and you certainly don't necessarily have to have evening clothes on but it is the most fun and the money goes for a good cause yes sir uh, ever since the an affair of the heart began eleven years ago this is our eleventh year or the eleventh year for the affair that money has stayed right here in the community and it has supported research into heart disease primarily at Wright State University Medical School. So for the folks listening at home, how can they get more information? Oh, they about can call me or they can call anybody at my office. At okay. The Mary Heart Association. Give us a phone number. 223-4119. Stop in, drop us a line if they want to write to us. We have a lot of brochures. We have a lot of information. We'll be very happy to take anybody's reservation. Tickets for the night are $25. They're good all night long. If you want to come for an hour, you want to make a whole evening of it, that's fine. There'll be plenty to eat plenty of beverages and a lot of really great entertainment and uh, we have a variety of sponsorship availabilities too. If somebody would like to buy a table or more and attach their corporate identity to that we'd be most happy to have them uh, be participants. So okay, a great. call to the Heart Association is all it takes. William. Okay, thank you. Thanks so much for coming on tonight. Thank you. Thank Glad you. To be here. And I'll be back in a moment to sing one of my favorite Latin songs for you. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on The William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present The William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to The William Pace Show YouTube channel be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. So many of you have asked, where did I start singing? Well, for me, it started right here in Dayton, Ohio. I started singing with the local churches, and from there I went on to sing with orchestras and concert bands across the country. I'd like to leave you with Pani's Angelicus by Cesar Franck.
The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you.